Hello friends, in this video I am just going to explain how to control your OBS studio in PC through remote control in mobile. If I start recording right, automatically it will be started here. So you can start streaming, you can, can control your scenes, you can control your sources, even chat, etc. Okay, fine. Now I am going to explain how to connect it. So I am going to remove this. Yes. I am going to remove the existing one. I am going to add it afresh. First thing you need to install this stream control remote for OBS and Streamlabs. So install this from Play Store and open it. So just keep it ready. And next thing we need to install OBS WebSocket for OBS. Go to this GitHub and check the latest release and do not install alpha or beta versions because it is not working properly. So install the stable one. So this OBS WebSocket 4.91 is stable and your OBS Studio version should be 27 or above. So I'm going to check the versions on OBS Studio, help and about. So it is 27.1.0. So it is about 27.0. So I can install, it will be working better. Download this OBS WebSocket. It is downloading. OBS WebSocket is downloaded and I'm going to install this. Click on next. Before you install right, we need to close the OBS Studio. Ready to install. So it's successfully installed. I'm going to open OBS Studio now. Once you install right, you can see this OBS WebSocket under Tools. So click on this Tools and go to this WebSocket Server Settings. You need to enable this WebSocket Server. Enable it. And the default port is 4444 and enable this authentication as well so enable authentication and set the password 1234 i'm going to set so the password is 1234 open the stream control app in your mobile and click on this plus button and click on this ob studio so the default port is matching the default port is matching here so give it okay it's scanning it will get the ip address so this is the connection because both should be in same Wi-Fi connections or internet connections. So both are in same connections. So I'm going to tap this IP address. Here you need to enter the password. I did set 1234. So I'm going to submit. I can name it here for the remote control connections. OBS Studio Remote Control. So click on submit. Super cool. It's successfully connected with the IP and port. So now I need to tap it you can see that layout so I'm going to choose this default layout super cool remote control is enabled successfully on OBS studio I have added the sources video capture device so that is what reflecting here so you can see that if I'm moving right you can see that also in remote control and if you did the settings for uh, live streaming that also you can do it for now, I will be getting error because I didn't set that uh, connection URL. So I will be getting the error. So set that in OBS Studio settings and you can control over this mobile also. This is an home section and you can check the audio, what and all mic and speaker we have connected. And next is scenes. Scenes you can see here and sources we have connected, right? Video capture device that also I can take a control. You can add filters, etc. So here, right, which chat will be displayed here. You have to check only one thing on your OBS Studio, what versions you have installed it. Install the latest version or the beta version and the OBS web socket should be the stable version and you can check the releases here. That's it friends, this is the way you can set up OBS Studio remote control from mobile to PC. That's it. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put the comments and feedbacks in many forms. Thank you. Bye friends and take care.